Hey everyone, the professor here, and welcome to today's crude oil analysis video. Uh, now, if you've been following my channel, I am currently on a nine day European cruise. I am right now heading out to Hamburg, Germany. So uh, if you are from the Hamburg, Germany area, I will be there, uh, which will be Sunday, the day you watch this video. Uh, so anyways, love to connect with you. If you're near the port of Hamburg, uh, definitely drop me a message. But let's go ahead and get right into the analysis. And again, I do apologize if you do have some background noise. So I'll be doing my best to reduce that background noise since there are people walking around. It is a little bit of a cold day, so I'm indoors uh, recording this session here over by the bar area. So we are looking at the crude oil monthly chart. Okay, we are definitely have been on the rise uh, in the month of March. You can see here that as of um, Friday, we had rejected that 61.8. So again, just an area of reference for you to look at when it comes to the monthly charts, okay? So that is the monthly. Let's kind of take a look at what the weekly did last week, because this is very, uh, very interesting on the weekly, okay? So the first area is right here that I kind of want to draw the attention to and that's kind of this level right in here let me change this over to white and you can see here let me grab a arrow okay we had peaked okay as high as about 83 13 or so uh, before we dropped at the end of the week back down to the current price of about uh 80 93 or so okay so we did see that free fall and i'll show you that here over the last you know several eight hour charts on the four hour charts right we have been dropping since this area up in here so as we begin to look and explore these different uh time periods i'm going to go ahead and in this video what i'd like to do is to give you zones so that way you are ready for the beginning of the crude oil week and again if you're one of our members in our trading club as you know even with me cruising been updating our members, sending out trade alerts. And so you don't have to worry about that. But if you're only on YouTube, watch this video, pause the video, I'm gonna give you zones, and then you can at least have those zones marked up uh, for the rest of the week. And if at any point you're getting some value on this video, you can definitely hit the like button for me. And if you're brand new, think about subscribing and turning on the notifications bell. And if you want more info about my trading group, you can see that down below scrolling check out the website we would love to have you join our group here so let's go ahead and mark up some levels starting at the eight hour time frame okay so we saw here uh, we definitely had some rejection that we want to point out there we are obviously going to look at this top level and then we are obviously going to look at this bottom level right in here for now so these are the current trading levels and then we're going to mark this one more down here to the top side okay so as we move lower okay as we move lower through the time frames then we will be able to adjust these levels as needed so what we do know right now is that over the course of the last uh four eight hour candles right we've seen this consolidation in between 81.45 and 80.25 okay so at some point we will be breaking out of that consolidation period but in the meantime, we are going to trade what we see, okay? So a couple of things to kind of look as to educate and to show you so you can see some of these things that play out over and over. Uh, and you'll see one of my videos at the end of this video where we kind of talk about that crude oil rejection levels. We saw it here at the 61.8. And then again, we saw it here at this level here. So we like to trade between the 61.8 and the 88.6, and that perfectly not only came to the zone, okay, to retest, but also came within our fib levels. So again, at the end of today's video, you're gonna see a video that is linked up to the top of this video, or it'll be at the end of this video. Check out that video. I'm gonna show you how to trade crude oil using Fibonacci levels at all the different time frames but especially on the higher time frames, the one hour, the four hour, they work very, very well. So 
And let's go ahead now and drop back down to our current channel right in here. So we are now going to move to the four hour time frame. So what we're seeing here right now is this level right here. This is going to be a very crucial level. Okay. Because let me show you why. If we move this chart up, you can see here that we had this rise from 77 all the way up to this 83. Okay. So usually when there's a structure break, we are going to change the trend of that structure of that trend. This 80, 25 ish area is super important because I believe if we break that level and then the next level, which is about the 7950 or so, then we are going to see much lower prices when it comes to crude oil. Okay. So you can see here that the last time we broke below this level, right, we came down into the lower, into the, you know, 77 range. Okay. So that's going to be the longer term level. And then this level is going to be the shorter term level. So these are the levels that I want you to mark up on your chart and pause if you need to this video so you can mark up these levels. Okay, right in here. Now, I'll go ahead and mark up this one with yellow because remember, zones are never an exact line. They're just a smaller, uh, they're an area. They're not an exact science. So let's go ahead now and move here into this level here. So what we've seen here in this current level, even though we saw, and let me grab this here. Okay, so we had this new higher high that was created here and we had a lower low, we did not create a higher high up in this area, okay? We did not create a higher high up in this area. So we created now a lower low, a lower high, a lower low, a lower high. So this is gonna be very important to look at for the beginning of the week, okay? What is going to be the next step for crude oil on a longer time frame? okay? but we are going to trade what we see. We know that this now is a supply and demand zone. All indications of these candlesticks are pointing that we should continue at least falling back down to about this $80 a barrel price point on this chart. And again, keep in mind, you can see up here, the chart that I'm using for this analysis, but the price action on your chart, they pretty much mirror this. So what I wanna do now is I wanna drop down into the one hour time frame so we can kind of begin to see uh what is happening here as well okay so let's go ahead and evaluate the one hour and let's go ahead and take a look at our gap scenario so these levels here are the one hour same thing on the one hour okay we did not create a new higher high up in this area so we are going to mark this as our sunday gap right here. And so again, the gap means nothing more than where price opens and closes. So the price closed here on Friday. Okay, there's only going to be two scenarios. If oil gaps up, okay, on the Sunday market open, and it'll make that green. Usually what happens is price will run up to the next major level possibly, and then come back down and close again. Okay, we take gaps if they're 50 points or more. Okay, so if you are brand new to trading the gap, understand that gaps can take seconds, minutes, hours, days, or weeks to close. For the most part, crude oil closes its gap within a few hours or by the next session, which would be like London session, if there is a small gap. Large gaps can take up to 24 to 48 hours. So why am I telling you this? So that you don't over lot size on your gap. You should kind of look at the gap as like extra free money. It's going to close for the most part, right? Uh, I think less than 2% of gaps do not close. If you're trading on the future side, we just got a brand new contract for futures. So you shouldn't worry about that price contract swap out. Those gaps no longer matter on the old contract. You should be trading on the new contract. But gaps will close. So if you under lot size it, we have a strategy that we do inside of our group where we stack multiple positions, especially if it begins to run away from the gap. And I kind of want to show you that here, okay? 
So if the gap is created and it starts running away more than 50 points, we take our first entry for our sell and we look in this case, right? If the gap's up, we want to sell it back down to the gap. Vice versa for a gap that comes down and opens way below, right? I'll make this red. So if a gap opens below, right? What we want to do is we want to let that gap run, okay? And as it runs, we start adding smaller positions. Usually it'll run to a major pivot point, okay, like in this case, and then it'll come back up to close the gap. So those are kind of the two uh, scenarios for the gap when it comes to what is going on with the Sunday market open. So now that we have this one hour chart, these are the levels that we want to trade to begin uh, the week. So on the one hour chart, I'm going to give you one more level to this top side. I usually like to put the line first right in here where we had rejection on both ends, and then we'll mark this. Because one of the things that we focus on in our group is to grab 20 points, 20 pips, 20 ticks uh, in our 20 pip challenge. And again, I invite you to check out uh, my website, theprofessortrades.com. Again, you'll see it scrolling below here uh, shortly again. Check it out. Join our challenge. I'm helping people grab 20 extra pips a day with the callouts and the trade alerts. Uh, inside with crude oil, we do trade other stuff like indices and some forex pairs, but our main focus is uh, crude oil, both on the forex side and the futures side as well. Okay, so these are the key levels that we want to focus on for the week. And then up here again, this will be the higher level if we come back up to retest this 83 level. So all we want to focus on is trade zone to zone because even zone to zone. You're getting 30, 40, 50 points or more when it comes to crude oil. Now, when I see a large gap between 8025 and 8045, I don't want you stuck. So I'm going to give you this mid level right about in here where we've seen rejection. Where, for example, if you're taking a buy from this lower area, understand as like what happened here, this would be a place to either secure or cash out because we've seen prior rejection at this 81 level basically okay so i'm going to throw that level in there so that you have it as a way to say uh oh i may be experiencing either resistance or support depending if you're selling or buying at that level in between those two major levels right in there okay so that's how we're going to start our week uh this is a little bit shorter video because again uh, I'm in the middle of the North Sea heading over to Germany, but I hope you got some value on this video, enough to get you started. Let me know down below uh, in the comments um, what you learned from this video, if you learned anything, and do you think we're going to go higher or lower than our current price for crude oil this week? To our members, thank you so much for your support. To our subscribers, thank you so much for your loyalty and your support. We'd love to have you in the club because we're helping a lot of people. There's no upsells. Everything in the club, you get for the same fee of the monthly fee, which again is under $1 a month. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you got some value. Uh, this is kind of a bigger view now of the wine room that I'm sitting on here uh, on the cruise. Uh, and again, that's just one of the blessings of learning to trade, but not just for a day or a month or a year, learning this the right way with a community, doing it eight years later, it's proven that it works if you're around the right people. So we invite you to join our amazing community with amazing people. So you can be doing this to give you freedom, not to become a millionaire, if it happens, great, but to give you enough money and space to be able to enjoy life, more importantly for your family, to be able to take them to places that maybe you normally would not be able to take them. I've been using trading money since 2018 to take my family all over the world. So this is why, this is my why. Now you have to know your why into why are you getting into this? Obviously it's to make some money, but there's gotta be a bigger purpose in that, right? Help others, give back, financial freedom, explore the world, travel. There's gotta be a bigger why. For me, it's allowing my kids, my family to see things that they normally would not be able to see. And trading has been the vehicle that has been able to do that. And now I just wanna pay it forward to help other people across the world in other countries. As a matter of fact, most of our folks of 170 that we have now in our group are mostly international. 
and it's good to see them seeing some light at the end of the tunnel, finally seeing progress in their trading journeys that maybe were not so good prior to finding me and joining our community. Because it's really not about me, it's about the community that we have. Everyone's helping each other, trading in London session, US session, all the different sessions, helping each other and sharing charts. Okay, that's it for me. Thank you so much uh, for watching and we'll see you on the next video. And members, I'll be updating you inside our private app community. Thanks for watching.